All right, you already know. So Lonzo Ball, who originally, you remember he signed with Big Baller Brand, his own family business, and that was a huge thing. What was his shoes? $500 or something like that. But then after that, he started having injuries. Well, he talked about a couple of years ago how he had to keep changing out his shoes constantly because they was uh, wearing down on him. But he recently talked about how they could have potentially hurt his career. He quote had to say they were like kickball shoes playing in a big baller brand shoe. And, um, you know, you hear speculations. Even LaMelo was hooping in his own shoe. I've heard people say that with him as well. And I remember back at the time, they were telling LeVar Ball, you know, how are you able to design your own shoe? You need research and development. And that's why he should sign with a big shoe designer. And LeVar said, you don't need nothing but some stitching and some glue. And look to say about this, right? Because Lonzo eventually stopped wearing the big baller brand shoes. And LaMelo did too. LaMelo got his own shoe with Puma. Shout out to LeVar Ball, man, for trying, man. And I still feel like LeVar kind of opened up the door if you notice he's the reason why the g league was even started because he came out with the jba which they'll never give him credit for that which ended up the g league ended up leading to nil deals and the fact that he didn't that he sent Lamelo to australia instead of him going to college and not getting not getting paid because i do know he had a couple of offers to hbcus and i believe kansas or one of them schools was also having interest in in lonzo playing my bad, I'm talking about LaMelo. But uh, he ended up eventually going overseas, him and, uh, what was his name? I forget the other, other man, but he ended up going to Australia as well. But anyway, I digress. Look, look, honestly, it could have, it could have, honestly. But I know that that second deal they had was with Brand Black, if I'm correct on that. And I know that they're pretty good. I believe they're a Chinese manufacturer. So you never know, honestly. I mean, they could have bad genes as far as just their bodies are made of glass. But I'm not going to 100% here blame blame lavar because when well, you really think about it right people been playing sent with chuck taylor's and pf flyers flyers back in the day bill russell and all these other players so you never know honestly and i mean and listen if you're where chuck taylor's people like me feet be killing me you know it could just be it could be bad timing and luckily for lonzo while he was out for what two plus years it's glad to see him back in a bulls uniform it's almost unbelievable i honestly thought that the gonna get Lamelo, but he ended up following charlotte and then i forgot who we took number four now honestly but even to get lonzo i'm like okay well cool he's definitely a key player like he's not a superstar player, but he's a key fit to a championship team but yeah i'm not gonna blame lavar man for everything man you never know yeah the shoes probably wasn't designed as the best but you know i don't want to sit here and say that it all happened because of the shoes now steven jackson if i right he had some affordable shoes back in the day what was a was a protege i think that was named proteges y'all let me know if y'all and they might have been 40 dollars. but he talked about at one point that he ended up having to get rid of the shoes because they would break down too bad on them but i just want to get my quick thoughts about it tell me what y'all think